Okay. Um, do you usually vote? Why or why not? Uh, I always vote because my parents, because I'm from Alabama, so uh, my dad couldn't vote, so yeah, uh, I always vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever run into a problem in voting or felt pressure to vote one way or another? Mm, I, I've been blessed. Uh, again, being from Alabama, I hear the stories about how you know you couldn't vote or if you decided to vote, uh, if it depended on whose sharecropper you was or who plantation you were from, it depended. So if you were Peterson Plantation, your plantation owner voted for you, and that was it. As my father would say, there were times when he would go to vote. They go, oh, they already voted for you. And so we take pride in that, being from Tuskegee, Alabama, that is. That's yes, sir. Okay. Is there, anything that, is there anything that would make voting an easier or more enjoyable process for you? I, I think it's perfect as it is. I mean, you know, we're in the best times of our lives right now. So um, it, it couldn't, we, we've battled the challenges. And right about now, um, life is great. You know, I mean, if you go back and you look at time, this is a time. It's, it's never been better. Yeah. And last question. Have you, how have your past voting experiences been? Um, I always believe in we the people. So no matter who is the president, no matter who, we the people always, whether we go through a hard time or a hard challenge, bounce back. So as we look at it, it doesn't really matter who the president is. It may help, but we the people will determine um, what's, what's our next move is. It's always about us. We're the ones that make it happen. That's a good point. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Alana Mariah. Thank you very much.